Um, well, I am for I am a yoga teacher now for more than ten years, and um, I was searching for real knowledge from origin, like from the real source. And I think that um, Krishna Machara's teaching with uh, Kaust of Desi Kachar is really a good choice. I didn't want uh, to uh, have um, too much people in between the no real knowledge. So uh, I wanted really to start from the source. And this is also what I got here. I've always been interested in Eastern philosophy and things like that just because it's more holistic, more a way to find your place within your own body, within your relationships, within the world, just a way to understand how to move through with some grace and find some purpose. And I think using these methods, these holistic, individualistic, um, non exclusive or judgmental methods are just the the most intuitive natural way to find healing and peace today or anytime well in america you find a lot of branding there's a lot of everyone wants to be unique everyone wants to find their light and they feel that they have to be different or to patent and protect what is theirs. Whereas here in this training, it's not about um, branding yourself or shining your own light. It's about bringing out the health and beauty in others. Basically, I chose to do this training program because every uh, occasion that I was exposed to these teachings, uh, the teachings of this lineage, I uh, basically was just in love with, uh, with them. And I felt that they were truth and that they were so profound um, and just downright captivating. So uh, when I saw that the program was offered in Brussels, I thought I have no excuse, especially uh, being a local. Um, but then it wasn't such an easy process to actually decide. Um, I had a lot of doubts and I actually joined uh, just a couple months before the program started. I think I was a bit late. Um, because, you know, uh, it's, it's a difficult decision to make. So um, I had many reasons not to join. And I first gave it to those reasons, like uh, it's going to take too much time and it's a lot of investment and uh, and who am I uh, to uh, study, you know, to become a yoga therapist. Um, I'm only a, a modest, um, humble yoga teacher. Um, and so I think really what decided me was nothing rational, it was just knowing that uh, I would have a great time and I would learn so much and I would have a chance to explore these teachings um, in a much deeper way um, even though I had no idea exactly what I was going to do with this uh, after the training is over so um, yeah that's what I would say I feel like in a way it chose me like I didn't have a choice about this. When I heard about it last year in Florida, when I was fortunate enough to go and meet Kaustab there, um, it was a no-brainer. My heart just said, yay! And it didn't matter where it was. So here I am in Brussels. <laughs> it's been wonderful. Um, the people, the environment, coming to Europe, seeing all these different very very unique people and cultures come together for such a like-minded purpose um it's it to be an individual piece amongst those that fit so well so cohesively and share a common goal not to be selfish or to critique but to lift up and to embrace it's been wonderful
I think what I've gained, well, first of all, is, is a real uh, first level true understanding of uh, yoga as a healing system rather than, you know, yoga as a maybe um, um, simple practice. Um, so that, that was profound. Um, yoga, like getting to understand the structure of yoga as a system that can actually facilitate uh, a person's healing. Um, so that was one thing. Uh, I would say the other thing, and that's more personal, but um, is I did not expect um, that there would be such an, um, uh, an impact for me personally. Uh, so the teachings kind of met me where I am in my life right now and provided a lot of comfort, um, a lot of, uh, I would say healing, even though I'm in, you know, um, everything is not solved. But I felt a lot of um, things being moved and in process when I was going through already this first module. And um, yeah, I think that the power of the practices and teachings uh, was very palpable for me during this first, um, this first session. Um, positive, a bunch of new friends. Um, and a new lens or a removal of lenses to see things. I'm excited to go home and look with new eyes. Challenging. Um, to trust the process that, um, that on this path of healing that it's not always easy actually that as we're opening ourselves up then um, we're becoming more aware of some of the patterns or the things that have been maybe holding us um, down so it's sometimes challenging to become aware of that and to and now to move forward because it moves things it moves you um, even just changing the way you breathe stirs something inside and if you're not ready or willing to engage that um, then it can be frightening the group is very nice very caring it, gi it gives support, it gives uh, space, and with the safe hands in Kaustup, we really, really feel very, very safe to open our hearts. There's a lot of crying, a lot of laughing, but at the end of each day, we are like glowing and we are full of joy. Oh yes, everyone was so open and genuine and kind. Um, when we were all saying goodbye, people you hadn't spoken with, there were so many of us, so you don't get a chance to really connect with everyone. But you still, we, you just find that, um, that embrace and it's nice. Just the, the group is, is a, uh... It's just a great group to be a part of. We had a lot of fun uh, meeting people from 16 different countries. Um, and every one of us, just realizing every one of us is going obviously through their own uh, life journey and their own difficulties and their own challenges and pain. And that became quite obvious uh, throughout the first module. Um, and so to, you know, uh, kind of get out of your own uh, lonely little corner with your own pain and suffering and just connect with other people and realize that you know we're basically we're all in this together um, was really great uh, I gained a lot from um, you know just hanging out with these people for 10 days uh, I like the class so much because uh, Kaustup has such a Terrible jokes, but at the same time, 
Uh, the class is very light, uh, but the teachings are very, very profound. Uh, and actually what happened to me that I just uh, put this knowledge into my heart. It was not so much into the head, but into the heart. And with the practice of pranayama and meditation, it's just energy is flowing and everything is glowing and everybody are glowing. So the experience is really profound. Oh, that guy. <laughs> He's great. And um, the, the teachings seem to come so easy and so intuitively in such a lighthearted way that it it takes the chore out of learning. You're just engaged the whole time with Kaustab and all your, your peers. It's um, a cohesive, collaborative experience rather than um, a dictative lecture. It's more experiential. Well, the teachings are, you know, every t again, every time I've been exposed, whether through, you know, videos, uh, workshops that I've attended, um, the teacher training that I've done before, um, it, it is just um, obviously um, profound and true teachings. And so the beauty of that, um, I think, is just amazing. And that, um, you know, we are really lucky to have access to this wisdom. Um, so that's about the teachings, uh, and I think it's important because uh, I, you know, I work in the personal development field, and there are so many opportunities to study and learn different systems. Um, and you know, there there are many great things to study, but there is also things that you will go to and you will be disappointed because it's it'll be, you know, not so deep. Um, and definitely that, that is not the case with these teachings. So it's like, you know, you invest and you come and it, it's, it's like what you get is always even more profound than what you could even imagine. And I think that's very rare um, in this domain. Um, and the teacher, uh, well, so in our case, the main teacher is uh, Kostub. Um, and uh, he's just so funny. I think that's the, <laughs> that's the key point. Um, really, like we, we had a lot of fun. And again, in that kind of trainings, I think, uh, because, because it's so profound, and because it's so complex, and because it's so deep, you know, sometimes it can also be heavy and stressful, and uh, maybe you can take yourself a little bit too seriously or whatever. And this, this, uh, the magic here, I think, is that the, 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 the depth of the teachings um, do not mean that the experience of receiving those teachings is heavy. Um, and so there was a very warm, um, there's a very uh, yeah, kind of warm-hearted quality to the way Kostov teaches, um, a lot of humor. Um, yeah, it was the humor and heart and care that I really, really love and appreciate. Quality of the teaching and the teacher is just a gift, a real blessing um, to be held and supported and um, understood and not um, judged and um, and. Kostob's way of being able to share and teach in such a, a light, um, joyful manner makes it so easy to um, bring it in and, and really understand which, the, the teachings themselves. I will take me, I will be different me. Um, and somehow I feel that the environment will be different, the people around me will be different. Um, I really will try to do my best, support the others, in a way give them space. I recognize in yoga teacher training that um, you need to give people space in order to heal themselves, in order to uh, realize their patterns and this is in the end all that 
we need to do to heal the relationship. The relationship itself is a healing. I would, uh, of course, uh, I would absolutely recommend this training to others. Why? You know, I think everyone um, has to find their own reasons in their own journey to the, everyone will know whether this is for them or not like there's nothing that you can convince people or should convince people about i think certainly my own experience is that um, if you expose yourself to these teachings uh, they will either resonate and resonate so strongly that it's obvious for you that you want to know more and in this case i would say well this is where you absolutely have to go because you won't be disappointed and then if it doesn't resonate, then it doesn't resonate, you know. Uh, but certainly, um, if I refer to my own experience, um, I was frustrated with, until I met a teacher who was teaching in this tradition, I was frustrated with uh, my yoga experiences. And, and then, you know, the first course, that I, the first yoga class that I took with a teacher in, in our tradition, I knew that uh, this is, I liked that and this was interesting and I wanted to know more. So um, yeah, I would absolutely recommend it for people who, if you have come into in, to contact with this tradition and it has resonated for you, uh, then just go deeper because there is so much, so much that is made available through these kind of programs that you don't want to miss it. Um, it's in a group, it's far away from home, for, for me for example, which is also very good, so I am detached from the normal, my normal environment, my reality. And it's in a fantastic group, in a fantastic environment, and in a very safe environment, in a safe hands, also the teacher, the Kaustup, is really um, a special one, in a way that he is um, so normal and so approachable. And with all these members of the group that we have, I think we are 40 now, he actually has time for each one of us every day. So it's really safe and it's really um, warm-hearted, open-hearted. I would most definitely recommend this course to other people. Um, not only just those that maybe our yoga teachers even, just those that are interested in the healing process. Um, whether or not they want to take this and become a yoga therapist or they're just doing it to, for healing themselves and their own relationships with a spouse or within their homes or their family. Um, it's really a helpful tool to um, connect again with ourselves and others.